practice as much as you can. I think that's really important. And if you don't sort of really know what your style is, it really helps to practice loads of different styles. Sort of hone yours and find out what works for you. Um, and then once you've got that, just keep practicing. Try and find some clients or make up some clients just to get work out there. Post, try and post as regularly as you can as well. Hi, my name is Jack Goodgen. Um, I've been a graphic designer for two years now, working in the industry full time. Uh, I now work at a digital design studio and I do the lettering in my free time from home. I knew I wanted to be a designer since quite a young age. I've always sort of loved art and stuff in school and then um, uh, my auntie and uncle were both designers and they sort of introduced me to what it was and I just fell in love with it and then once I was in design education I found lettering and that just became my favourite thing and that's all I really wanted to do so. Uh, I think the main thing is probably seeing projects through from brief to completion. Uh, a lot of the technical skills were learned at home we did have sort of Photoshop class and Illustrator and stuff, but it wasn't uh, extensive. So I think just working at timeframes and seeing projects all the way through was really helpful. I think the main thing or one thing I did was because I wasn't getting work is set my own briefs. And there's loads of websites that you can find uh, sort of made up briefs on depending on what kind of work you want to do whether it's branding or layout or web design uh, another thing i did was i made up briefs myself for rebranding local companies because branding was what i wanted to get into so i would find local businesses that could do with a, a rebrand and update it uh, one of my biggest projects at the minute which is uh, chucho's tacos on my website that's a local business and I just thought their branding could really do with updating. So I just sort of did it from start to finish and send it to them. Um, and they really liked it. I think I'm inspired mostly by, I use mostly just Instagram, Dribble, and Behance. Um, and there's so much work on there. There's so much lettering stuff, especially that it gives me loads of inspiration. And then the sort of phrases or words that I choose are usually inspired by either music I like or logos for local businesses. Not really, I sort of follow design trends on sort of, you know, stuff like behind so I can see where, where it's heading. But uh, in terms of like the industry, uh, just talking with people at work because I work with a team of designers so they sort of got the ear to the ground and will let me know what programs we might need to learn and stuff like that. And I'd always start with paper and pencil or pen depending on what it is. I try and get all my ideas out even the bad ones just so they're all out there on a page and then I'll sort of, maybe an idea can grow from one of the bad ideas or I'll see something in one of the sketches and then I'll sort of narrow that down to three or five sketches and develop those a little bit further, still just sketching. Um, and then once I've got some refined sketches, I'll usually know by then which direction I'd like to take and then I'll maybe digitize two of the concepts and then send them over to the client, get their thoughts, and then sort of make any changes they have. I would mostly email or I would find their social media pages and I would sort of take notes if I'm out and about and I see a local business with that could use an updated brand identity. I'll just leave, keep a note of it and then find out their contact details once I get home, either email them or message on Facebook, Instagram, 
just try and get through and see if it's something they'd be interested in. So my plans are sort of to keep this going as a side thing. And I really hope that one day that I can get, you know, it gets so big that it starts overtaking my day job and then I can make lettering my full-time job. Uh, as for advice for people starting out, I would just say practice as much as you can. I think that's really important. And if you don't sort of really know what your style is, it really helps to practice loads of different styles, sort of hone yours and find out what works for you. Um, and then once you've got that, just keep practicing, try and find some clients or make up some clients just to get work out there. Post, try and post as regularly as you can as well. And I would also say, try and do full projects rather than just one piece of lettering. Maybe think of like a series you could do or a full branding project, something like that. So you can see it through, you can set yourself a timeline and see it through from start to finish and that would really help. Mm -hmm.